It means that signal. We need more power. Welcome to the Voice of E. I am your host, Elliot Miller, and this is my Gen Con preview, where you will find out about what you should be looking for at the best four days in gaming. First up, Mayfair Games is ecstatic to announce that the big game will be an official Guinness World Record attempt. The record attempted will be for most people playing Settlers of Catan simultaneously. There will be an official Guinness World Records representative on site to judge it, and the big game will feature up to 1,012 players playing a single game of Catan simultaneously. Yes, you heard that right. 1,000 people will play a single Settlers of Catan game on a special board, from start to finish, through a turn limit of 62 turns. turns. The entry is 10 bucks, which provides each player a limited edition deck of Catan resource cards, a single player set of basic Catan and Seafarer's wood playing pieces in one of six unique colors, and a custom Catan map all produced specifically for this special event. Even better, one player's deck will contain a golden ticket, and that player will be awarded a 10th anniversary 3D edition of the Settlers of Catan Treasure Chest edition, an unparalleled rare and priceless item for any Catan enthusiast, collector, or completionist. The big game will be held at J.W. Marriott's White River Ballroom, Friday night, August 16th, that's this Friday, in cooperation with the great Gen Con Game Fair. Check-in is at 5.30 p.m. and the event lasts until the winner is crowned. Food and drink are available for purchase. Hey, isn't that sweet? At the venue. Of course, I will be there and I will be participating. On Thursday, Wizards of the Coast will be hosting a night with Dungeons and Dragons. And what is a night without Dungeons and Dragons? Spend the evening in Baldur's Gate at the official Sundering launch party. On Thursday night from 7 to 11 p.m., Baldur's Gate will open its gates to travelers from across Faerun for a one-of-a-kind event. Mingle with D&D designers, authors, and other industry luminaries while enjoying food, drinks, music, adventure, and more. Yes, something foul is afoot in Baldur's Gate. Amid preparation for Founder's Day, a sinister plot unfolds. Those closest to Duke Andrian Abadel will fall to the blade of assassination, and it will be up to attendees to uncover the truth. Join the Dungeons & Dragons community in solving a murder mystery puzzle created by the devious minds of Lone Shark Games. As the evening progresses, party attendees can track down suspects and uncover the truth. Solve riddles, question characters, confirm alibis, and discover who the true murderer is and what he or she is planning for, for Baldur's Gate. Those who help solve the mystery and become champions of justice will have a chance to win awesome D&D prizes, including a unique item. Paizo Publishing will be releasing the Pathfinder Adventure card game at Gen Con Indy. What is being touted as one of the most hotly anticipated games of the summer is soon to be in the hot hands of gamers at Gen Con and beyond. Swing by the Paizo booth in the exhibit hall, number 203, to get a demo from its designers and score a free promo card. Designed by Mike Selinker and Lone Shark Games, hey, I heard of those guys, the Pathfinder Adventure card game translates the best-selling Pathfinder role-playing game into a new breed of cooperative card game, where players adventure, battle monsters and villains, and acquire new feats, items, weapons, and allies, all without a game master. Hey! The adventure begins with the Pathfinder Adventure card game Rise of the Rune Lords base set, based on the award-winning Rise of the Rune Lords adventure path. The set includes dice, nearly 500 illustrated cards, and everything one to four players need to create characters and begin their adventures for an entirely new Pathfinder gaming experience. A 110 character add-on deck introduces more classes, new cards, and allows for up to six players. The story will continue in bi-monthly adventure decks, each containing 110 cards featuring new scenarios, villains, loot, weapons, and items, as well as additional copies of some of the game's most useful spells, blessings, and allies to give players everything they need to expand their adventures. 
Buy your copy of the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game at Gen Con Indie and get $10 off. You just check that coupon book inside your registration bag to get the deal. And don't forget to pick up a free limited edition promo card at booth 203. Say, did you know that Gen Con, the largest tabletop gaming convention in North America, has an anime slash animation track? You didn't? Really? Well, now you do. Each year, fans of anime, cartoons, and cosplay take over the Weston Indianapolis connected to the Indiana Convention Center during Gen Con. This year is no different, and the track has been expanded to offer hundreds of hours of entertainment throughout the show. Here's some of the amazingness to consider. Meet the voice of Flame Princess from Adventure Time and the voice of Kayubi from Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Voice actress Jessica DiCiccio will, will be on hand to autograph signings and panel discussions, along with voice actress Cassandra Lee Morris, who will be hosting a very special presentation of Kayubi, Good or Evil, on Saturday at 4 p.m. Panels, ponies, a rave, and more. Gen Con is working with popular anime clubs and conventions across North America to bring you a wide variety of themed events. Check the schedule for some variety of clever content from Anime Crossroads, the Indiana Animation Club, Momocon, and Wasabi Anime. Friday at 2 p.m. Don't miss Epic Villains. This is completely on a different subject. Yeah, I'm just... Don't miss this. Friday at 2 p.m. Epic Villains, which is presented by Random House Children's Books. Okay, what could it possibly be? Best-selling authors Brandon Sanderson, whose new book Steel Hot comes out in September, and, you know, the Wheel of Time guy who finished up the Wheel of Time. He's great. And James Dashner, Eye of Minds, October 2013, introduce their new series and discuss the creation of the most horrifying villains within their fiction, past and present. For a chance to win an epic prize, collect some cool swag, and receive a limited edition signed poster, don't miss this sneak peek. There's a lot going on in next weekend, Gen Con. If you see me, hey, make sure to say hello. That's it for this preview. I hope this helps. Gen Con's only in, what, a day and a half? Thanks for joining me. And until next time, keep your mind free. It means that we need more power.